He's been noodling since he was a kid, but Tim Jones learned early that he could bring home lots more than just fish. I'm Gail and Culver coming up at 5 o'clock, Flatheads and Antiques. An unlikely fisherman brings them both together on the next great state. And Barnaby Creek tonight is five for snapping turtles. But tonight, Gail and Culver has the story of a new luring kingfisher who's found a lot of other things besides things that bite. He found things worth keeping. Filled with sediment and other things unknown. There aren't much trees and put your hand in a hole. If the hand goes up, your hand goes up. You'll go in there and beaver. If the hand goes down, then the catfish will go amongst it and get you dinner. He noodled for the first time as a 12-year-old. But right away, Tim started to notice the other things that eventually end up in creeks like this. Oh, well, that's cool. That's good fun. Environmentalists don't like it much, but for a hundred years now, farmers, even small communities, have filled washes and ravines with trash. Eventually, it washes downstream. Yeah, this is uh, something I found in the creeks right here. Where Tim and his family can find it. This from here, they call the hut Bob Top. This is Kingfisher OT from Oklahoma Territory. We'll walk the creek, you never know what you're going to find. His house in Kingfisher is filled with centuries. Pipes right here. Old bricks from yesterday's main streets and old bottles. Yeah. Lots of old bottles. You can say I see Indian territory. Anywhere I should go this creek, if I see any evidence, I'll return there so I know one day after it rains something, they'll, they'll be old filming something. Tim Jones goes fishing for the big flathead to fry up, but he keeps his eyes open and his hands feeling for other stuff too, buried and forgotten, until the antique noodler swims by. In Kingfisher, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? Some of the states